Hey guys, I hope y'all are getting settled in with this new uh, distance learning uh, model. I just want to pop in for a few minutes and give just a few quick tips on how you could stay active at home. And I realize that not everybody has uh, the same amount of equipment or things. So I'm going to give you five quick activities that you can do with a basic trash can or you can use a laundry hamper or um, one ball. It could be a tennis ball, volleyball, football, any kind of ball. So we're going to do five different activities with the trash can and one ball. All right, you ready? All right, guys, the first game we're going to do is just a basketball shooting into the trash can. Uh, I know the last few weeks in class we've been working on our shooting form. So when our feet face in the basket, we want to keep our elbow in and we want to shoot. Okay, you can do this for one minute, two minutes, five minutes, 30 seconds, uh, whatever time you want to do. You just kind of get close, come back far away, uh, just kind of create your own game and see what you can do. I'm going to see how many shots I can make so I don't bore to death. I'll do 10 seconds, okay? Ready, set, go. Zero. One. Two. And that's it. See if you can beat two in about 15 seconds. All right, guys. Activity number two with just one ball and a trash can is we are going to see uh, how hard we can throw and then just knock down our trash can or our basket. Now remember, our three things we learned earlier this year with our throwing is you want to be sideways, you want to step, and you want to follow through, okay? So again, you can make it as long as you want or as short as you want, but let's see if we can get this knocked down in one try. Let's go sideways, step, and throw. First try, I promise. don't even need a ball we just need a trash can or you can just find something smaller if you don't feel like um, using a trash can so we're gonna do a, a hurdle activity so you can set up one item and uh, see if you can clear it by jumping over it now make sure uh, you stretch and make sure you have a flat area and that you feel comfortable jumping over it now this is a um, soft area here so if I fall I'm gonna be okay not going to fall because that would be super embarrassing. So you kind of come that far back and you can set it up and go twice, once, three times, five, however many times you want to go. Um, you can set a minute time, you can go with the sibling or parents. Parents, be careful if you do this. Um, and I'll just give you an example of what you can do. I'll just do it a couple times. All right, ready, go. I'll jump. Come back. That's one. I'll come back. You can see how many times you can do that in any given period of time. All right, there we go. That's number three. Y'all, activity number four is we're going to do a soccer ball relay. All we're going to do is keep the soccer ball close, dribble around the trash can, and come back. Again, set it up to your personal preference. Remember, we did soccer first as our first unit, or our second unit, excuse me. Um, and you want to keep the ball close when you're dribbling. Use the inside and outside of your feet to go. So set a timer or do whatever you guys decide and uh, see if you can beat your time. So here's how it looks for me. Dribble, keep it close inside outside come around try to fall down and you can continue that for as many times as you want to do that that's activity number four all right activity number five is slam dunk contest with the trash can this one especially um, you need to be careful on because you can get a little crazy trying to do this and i'm mainly talking to myself here because uh who knows what's going to happen so you set the trash can up and you decide what trick you're going to do you can come up, you can do the 360 and dunk. Make sure it stays in. You can go between the legs. Oh, that's not between the legs, that's okay. You can come, making sure I don't break my ankle. You can come and do the windmill, whichever one you want to do. So, my challenge to you is to come up with the best game you can with one ball and one trash can. and. I will pick the best few and put them out there for our community to see. So if you have a really great one, videotape yourself, send it to me, and we'll have a little challenge to see what group or what family can come up with the best game with limited uh, items. Hope you all are enjoying yourself. Have a great day.